We are ready for it. Let's go. Let's bring that up. Come on. There you go. Evening, Nix. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? We're pretty good. That was a pretty tight game. Now, uh, you know, you guys didn't really have the most success when you're playing on the defense. I want to start off with a question. Do you think that that was because, well, both teams, both of you, were much more successful on the attack? Do you think that was mostly about Oregon itself or the operator bands of kind of a mix of multiple things? Um, I think that the operator bands kind of threw us off a, a little bit with the mirror band. We were expecting it, but we haven't really, you know, with Maestro up, um, it just kind of threw off our mojo a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I don't know, just on defense, we just weren't really meshing well. Our calls were kind of off, and then um, we, just, we were missing utility that we usually don't miss, and just like small mistakes that typically don't happen. But uh, on attack, we kind of just, you know, focused up and made sure that we, fo you know, focused on the things that we needed to be doing on the attacks and ended up getting it going, so. Yeah, I want to highlight round number seven there where you guys went for a tower take. Um, you had no meeting control, yet you were mm -hmm. still able to go in for a plan and actually win that out. Right. Even though meeting was held by a mute and there was someone else as well helping them out in that position. I think it was a, um, I think it was a lesion in that position. Mm -hmm. They dropped in. They actually got a ton of kills, but it was still not enough. How was How are things being relayed between you guys? Because it kind of got a bit too hectic by construction. Yeah, so um, we knew that they had meeting control, and we thought that we thought that we had stage wall open, but apparently mm -hmm. it was just a miscommunication on our part, and we didn't have stage wall open. Um, so Mint just ended up going really big and getting, I think it was a close to like a four piece, maybe a three piece, not a three piece, sure. I believe, on the yeah. side. Yeah, it, Mint. So Mint uh, went off, got a lot of kills that we needed that round, and it ended up just we ended up just fragging out that round. We didn't even get bomb plant down. Like it, the kills just went our way, and. Um, Honestly, that round, like that was a really close round. I, mean, I don't. It could have went either way in that in mm. that regard. Like it was just all just gunfights, and uh, it was just a miscommunication on stage wall. All right. Well, you know, you guys. I, I highlighted this when actually talking to Emzo. Um, when you guys were attacking laundry, there was a specific thing that would happen: is that you would be able to burn out utility very easily, but mm -hmm. also push up the blitz in a way where the entirety of the defense is so distracted by the blitz is always somebody dropping from meeting hall hatch or moving through tower. I wasn't exactly seeing where right. that was coming from. Right. But how are you able to do that and really being allowed to do it time and time again? Because it seems like within the whole chaos of the moment, that was the perfect maneuver to execute. Yeah, Blitz is just an operator that allows us to make plays like that. So when you clear out all their sight vision, and then we and you just throw smokes in the sight, and and you have a Blitz that's just right in your face, like they're kind of freaking out. They're like, they don't know. We like, I don't know if they're planning. I don't know if they're just faking. I don't know like what this Blitz is just in my face, and Mint's just making, you know, Mint's just there to bother him and stuff like that. So like, once they have no vision, no info like that, they're just gonna end up throwing utility and and panicking. So we push that into our favor, and you know, um, ended up getting rounds like that. So. A lot of the time, um, Mint drops hatches with Blitz or puts, uh, pu pushes aggro, but sometimes, you know, he could also do the, like, play really passive and play on those stairs and put pressure that way. So the teams really don't know what we're going to do. Yeah, and the, the Jackal drop from the back was definitely something to just kind of clean the whole thing up. It's very oppressive um, dealing with Blitz, that's for sure. Right. Um, at this point, anything you'd like to say to the fans that are watching the game and your victory today against uh, EXG? Um, I just want to say, you know, thank you to our supporters once again. Well, we apologize that we didn't perform, you know, to the to where we should have been in invitational qualifiers. It was just um, us, mis on, you know, underperforming. But we're grinding. We're getting better as a team every single day. And we're just happy to finish our pro league and happy to get the win today. So, very much, very much. So well done. Again, you did lose to EXG in those qualifiers. Right. So mm -hmm. it's it's good today to get that bit of a revenge, even though it's in pro league but and doesn't, you know give the access. No, the, re the redemption definitely feels good. So. Yeah. That's for sure. Well, thank you very much, Nix. Again, congratulations to you and the team. We'll see you tomorrow for yet another matchup. Thank you. Good night. It was nice of him to apologize for the performance. I accept your apology. <laughs> <Humbly>. <laughs>